who it was off the top of my head, but a uh, guy reached out to me and he also reached out to Josh. Um, Hammerdale crash course, Josh. And was, was trying to work out how could he run the 7,300 Mark II in his vehicle and use a, a tablet as the, as the front, as the head unit and have it up front and, and the radio in the back and the radio in the back and run it essentially remote, but have that tablet. So he could, uh, he can, uh, you know, maybe park the car and, and if he wanted to put a bigger antenna on there or, uh, go sit at a picnic bench and, and do it from there in the park. I mean, he had options now, um, right. without having to carry multiple radios with him. Yeah. I mean, that, that's, that's where it's going. You know, I mean, look at the Hermes, Hermes light that, you know, yes. I yeah. mean, that's on the same genre as a flex, but I mean, you can run it on with, a tablet. You can run it on hardware. a computer with commodity hardware at that. Exactly. A very inexpensive commodity hardware. I, I've got I, I got a brand new one sitting here in a kit and put it together. It's part of that stack of stuff I've got sitting around that I've been buying all year long and haven't had time to do. Uh, the Hermes Light to, to to put together. I, I, I think it was like three hundred bucks or something. Right. You know, for the for the hardware. Yeah. Five put it in out, a nice like, case. Run it on twelve volts. There you go. You yeah. just need an amplifier. Yep. You know, and they're the amplifiers are getting cheap and a plenty for a hundred watts so i mean yeah it's it's doable for less than 500 bucks to have a tablet run uh mobile hf station in your vehicle or dare i say a jankopotamus yes you need a tablet you could use jankopotamus yeah you could but you know it's it's there it, the, the technology is now there that these kids are going are <sighs> Maybe it's more of a, hey, come play ham radio. Come check this out. We can talk to people. Um, look at my color screen. Look look at the things that we didn't have growing up, kind of thing. That's how I look at it. It's a. I think it's. I think it should be marketed more to uh, uh, more to the newer hams coming in and the younger hams as well as us. But I mean, it it you know just to keep the hobby alive. The more the more cool shit we get to play with, the better it's going to be. 